How's everybody doing? <clears throat> got uh, got some of my stuff in for the scooter build. I just wanted to uh, unbox it with everybody and show everybody what I got. So we're gonna open Big Red up here and get all the fun stuff out. All right. So we've got the block there, which is you know stock, but we've got uh, these two new tires, some tubes. Some Permatex, <laughs> got some gasket material, and then we've got the big box up front. Alrighty. Let's go open this bad boy up and see what we got. So all these parts came from a company called ScooterTuning.ca. So far, um, I'm a stickler about um, customer service. This company has been great. Now, one issue was they held my order for like three days because they had sent me an email and I didn't really check my emails to see what it was. But basically, I had selected a wrong part for another part and they didn't really go together. So they had sent me an email saying, hey, these two don't go together. What do you want us to do? So when I did get it, and I realized that they did that. It didn't really bother me that they held it because I went ahead and added stuff to my order like brake shoes and brake lever handles and stuff like that. So, but <clears throat> we're going to open this bad boy up and see what we get. All right. I can already see some of the goodies. Okay, so first things first, we'll start at the top. We've got a uh, Melosi belt here. We've got a Polini carb. Let's see, a, uh, I think it's a 21. I can't remember. I had, oop, I had sent them a message asking them, you know, to help me with my build. And uh, I said, this is what I want. This is how much I've got to spend. Set me up with the best, most reliable product. I told them kind of a mile an hour uh, rating that I wanted to, to reach. Uh, but more or less, this bike is for riding around the racetrack. So that's what we're doing with it. We've got... I really don't know what this is. Let's open it up and see. Okay, brake shoes. That's what they are. Cool. We have another Melosi thing here. This would be your intake adapter. So this will go from the, I guess, the reed valve to the carburetor. We've got a uh, Melosi clutch here. Plastic broke. But, uh, all right, that's pretty sweet. We've got our transmission gasket. Now, I opened it up and cleaned it up, but I'm not changing the gears. We've got some decals. What we have here, we've got my brake levers that I was just talking about. Got both of those. We've got the uh, Polini jet kit that they recommended getting with this carburetor. I'll save the best for last. Okay, this looks like a silencer for the pipe. This is, uh, I think it's called Ganelli. That's the silencer. This is the, the uni filter that goes with the carb. We'll set that over with the carb. This is the Polini 70cc kit. This is going to be sweet. That's the part number that we decided to go for. I'm not changing the crank. I'm going to run the stock crank because this is not really a uh, high performance situation. Granted, I did buy high end parts, but high end parts were because I wanted reliability. Granted, you're going to get performance, but I'm more of a stickler for reliability than anything. So 
So wow, look at that pipe. That is sweet. Let's take it out of the bag, shall we? <clears throat> man, oh man, does that look sexy. Just look at that. Would you look at it? Just look at it. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, that looks um that looks beautiful. The the craftsmanship that goes along with stuff like this just blows my mind. It's just so beautifully done, beautifully welded. I guess the silencer is gonna go on there. Let's see what else we have in the box. In the box. Okay, we've got our contra spring. They suggested running the yellow. This looks like my flange to mount to the head. Now I saw videos online of scooter swap shop guys. They were talking about the flanges. So that flange looks pretty uh, pretty meaty to me. It doesn't look like it's made out of a thin gauge. They were having issues with them warping. So with the money that this pipe costs, which is somewhere in the 250 range, 230, something like that. <clears throat> I figured like I was going to get pretty quality stuff for that amount of money. Here goes, I would say they're brake shoes again, but I don't know. They are brake shoes. He said they were waiting for them to come in stock. I guess they showed up the day they were going to ship them. <clears throat> okay. And here we have here all the mounting hardware that goes with the exhaust. Put that with that. And we have the Polini Variator. All right. This thing looks sweet. Cool. Let's go ahead and open this up and see what it looks like inside. Ooh, carbon fiber. Isn't that beautiful? Ganelli. That is sweet. That's beautiful how they did that with aluminum. <clears throat> and then they've got that with carbon fiber. That is just sweet. So yeah, this is pretty much the parts that I have that are going to go on to that build right there so that's what she looks like right now uh, the other night i went ahead and i wrapped my seat now if you remember in the previous video the entire scooter was covered in camouflage duct tape including the seat now the seat was pretty wretched um, the foam was pretty messed up underneath so i tried to take some uh some clear epoxy and fill in all the holes this is a you know as best as i could do it's i think um i got this fabric right here from walmart and i paid eight dollars and 39 cent for a seat cover and basically i just bought three yards of it and it was like uh i think it was like three foot by six foot piece that i had to buy and i ended up just kind of wrapping it myself i used this loctite spray adhesive and um I'll show that to you in the video, but uh, that in the front, so I ended up kind of just folding it over and letting it look like that, and the same for the back, I'll show you the back, kind of did the same thing for the back, but if you kind of step back and look at it all together, the seat ended up turning out fabulous compared to the 1999 Honda seat cover covered in camouflage duct tape, so that's what we've got. Come over here to the crank. I've got the crank. The bearings are still in really good shape. That one's in really good shape. The uh, the needle bearing for the top of the rod is still pretty good. 
I uh, talked to the guys. They said uh, that the stock crank isn't terrible. They're pretty strong for what I'm doing with it. Uh, it won't matter. So we're going to go back with that. <clears throat> Come over here to all these. I cleaned up the, um, the Bendix. So this works really well now. It's all nice and clean. I cleaned up the electrical system and all that. The oil pump, I should have an oil delete in the uh, in the stuff there because I'm not going to run the oil pump since it is a larger cylinder. I don't think that the stock oil pump is going to uh, produce the same amount of oil that a 50cc should have. So if it's going to be 70, it would be throwing enough oil for a 50. So I said, screw it. I'm going to plug it, cap it off, not worry about it, and just mix my oil. So... But that's where we are right now with the build. Um, I think uh, I've got a job I've got to go do. But um, I'm going to come back later today and tear into this stuff. And Alright guys, so I couldn't let you go without giving you a sneak peek at the engine. I'm just too excited. And anybody who follows my builds, I can't sit here and justify not showing you the heartbeat of what we're doing. So we're gonna sit here and take this thing off and give you an idea about what we have inside the box. All right, look at that. So this right here is cylinder head. Isn't that pretty? Beautiful. We've got a Champion spark plug. These, what is this? Oh, cool. New roller bearing for the top of the rod. And a new wrist pin. All right. That is sweet. And new little C clips for the wrist pin. Keep that in. This will have to be cleaned up. It's kind of got a little bit of uh, stuff from being inside of here. But the piston is already in, inside the cylinder. That is beautiful. Beautiful. All right. Cool. All right. So we're going to set that there. However the hell it went back in there. And this is the variator. So variator comes with these guides. Your back piece that's going to hold all your, your weights and your rollers. This will be your front slide, I believe they call it. The front piece of the variator. So basically, they give you two weights with the kit. These are 6.9 gram, and these are 5.6. So basically, the rollers go inside here, and that goes on there. And as it rotates, the weight of the rollers fling this out. I believe. I'm learning just like anybody else. So that's what we've got. These are my two next things to be uh, working on cleaning up and we're going to go from there and that's it for today. Thank y'all for watching.